So things are getting pretty exciting for Dogecoin and the overall crypto market, and I'll talk about everything you need to know. So stay with me till the end of the video to discover where we are headed from here. But before we move forward, I'd like to remind you that we're giving away $100 to a random subscriber at the end of this month. All you have to do is like this video, subscribe, and leave a comment in the comment section below. Good luck! So let's start with Dogecoin's rising adoption as we are now seeing that more and more retail merchants are accepting Doge payment, especially after Tesla's recent announcement. And more recently, gaming giant Nex in America has partnered with crypto payment processor BitPay in order to accept payments through Dogecoin and other cryptos. Users will now be able to purchase in-game items with Doge. And this is an exciting development since it appears that Doge is now entering the gaming sector. And since we already know that a Doge developer has recently minted the first ever NFT on the Dogecoin blockchain, it is highly likely that Doge will also enter the play to earn game sector along with the NFT space and the metaverse. And this will give a huge boost to Doge since play to earn games like Axie Infinity already has millions of users. And this will give humongous exposure to Doge. Now let's come to the most important thing happening with Doge and the overall crypto market. So we have this big announcement from the recent Fed meeting, and it is pretty positive for the crypto market as the Fed is going to aggressively dial back its bond buying as they are seeing inflation rate hikes during next year, and they are also going to increase the interest rates. And this is a good thing for cryptos like Doge and Bitcoin since a recent study by the Deutsche Bank has revealed that when there is a rate hike by the Fed, stocks keep hiking. The survey basically says, since 1955, every time when the Fed has increased interest rates, basically the stocks don't go down and they continue to go up for at least 9 to 10 months. So that's really a positive sign for the broader market because these rate hikes are really not going to have much impact on the broader market. And I think it's going to have a more and more positive outcome in the crypto space. Now the other thing is the Fed has just indicated that it would start phasing out its pandemic stimulus program while increasing the interest rates in 2022. So I think that is actually pretty bullish news for cryptos. This is because what's going to happen is the Fed is now printing more and more money. And as a result, inflation is going to go out of control and that's going to cause more and more people to actually come into the crypto market. So I think this is pretty bullish news and we are already seeing that Bitcoin and stocks have bounced back after the Fed signal interest rates. So we can now see that Bitcoin's price action received a welcome boost to $49,000 shortly after the Fed confirmed rate hikes. Bitcoin has climbed by over $2,000 in the last 24 hours and is now sitting at a critical support level of 49 k and we are now seeing that the recent price action from Bitcoin has established solid base support, which means that Bitcoin is now aiming for new highs in the coming weeks. And seeing this, crypto analysts are also expecting Bitcoin's trend to change dramatically. For example, this analyst recently shared a price chart of Bitcoin, comparing its current trend with the September and early October trend when Bitcoin started a massive rally towards the all-time high of 69k. And the chart clearly shows that Bitcoin has again formed those trend lines. So it is highly expected that it will repeat history and start another leg up from here. And seeing current trend lines of Bitcoin, crypto analyst Michael Van de Pop has indicated that whales are now buying and heavily getting into the markets in these ranges. And this is what's one of the main driving forces that we are seeing, and that is causing all of the cryptos and the broader market to go up. And now if we come to Dogecoin's price, we are now seeing that it is now holding support around the 18 cents level. And this is a good thing because Doge is not losing the momentum that it got from Elon Musk's recent announcement. And now with this recent Fed announcement and investors rushing into the crypto market, Doge is looking better at this level now. And the best thing happening for Doge is that Bitcoin is now looking to go up. And this means that Doge will follow suit since we are seeing that their price correlation is pretty high now. It is currently sitting around 0.96, indicating that Doge will follow Bitcoin's trajectory. So this is very good for Dogecoin. And now as we have seen how the recent announcement by the Fed is leaving positive impacts on the crypto market, I think that we will now see the start of a major bull run for Doge and other cryptos. But I'm expecting Doge to rise steadily and not dramatically. I mean we will see Doge rising, but there may not be a sudden major spike.
Doge will gradually rise and it will see massive gains anytime during the first half of 2022. And now I have another great news for crypto's holders as Fed Chair Jerome Powell has recently stated that he isn't concerned about the crypto industry disrupting financial stability in the US. And talking about stablecoins, he said that they can certainly be a useful, efficient consumer serving part of the financial system if they are properly regulated. So it appears that Jerome Powell is hinting towards regulations of stablecoins, which I think is a good thing for the crypto space. And this is good because there were some speculations that Jerome Powell will take a strict stance on cryptos. But we know that Powell has stated earlier this year that he has no intents to ban Bitcoin or the broader cryptos. And his recent comments are also pointing out the fact that instead of banning cryptos, he is eyeing a broader crypto regulatory framework in the US. So this is a major bullish development of the crypto space that will eventually help them recover from the recent flash crash. And talking about crypto regulations, we are now seeing that the Monetary Authority of Thailand has confirmed its plans to formulate new crypto regulations in January next year. The proposed regulation will provide enhanced protection for investors who deal in Bitcoin and other cryptos. Now the thing is that we have recently seen that crypto adoption is booming in Thailand, with more and more investors getting exposure to the crypto space. And this is why the Thai government is going for proper regulations in the country. All in all, this is a good development and will inspire other nations to follow suit. And another massive news is that the IMF chief Gita Gopinath has recently stated that banning cryptos is not an option. She said that there were practical obstacles to banning cryptos given their decentralized nature. So she called for a coordinated approach implementing a broader crypto regulatory framework. And now we know that the IMF has recently published a blog talking about comprehensive crypto regulations in order to mitigate all the risks and scams involved in the sector. So I think this is yet another good news for the crypto space since we are now heading towards global crypto regulations sooner or later. And although there were some speculations that such a regulatory framework will hinder the decentralization of cryptos, I think that that is not happening here. This is because the IMF chief has already mentioned that the decentralized nature of cryptos can't be tampered with. So the point is that if we see crypto regulations, then there is no chance that organizations like the IMF will have control over it. The very decentralized nature of cryptos is going to be there so I think all is good for cryptos. And now let's come to the next update. So prominent investor Ray Dalio has recently stated that Bitcoin is the gold of the young generation, and he believes that Bitcoin's success in avoiding hacking and achieving a considerable level of adoption is indeed a great feat. However, Dalio still has some concerns over Bitcoin as he believes that Bitcoin would eventually be banned by governments if it becomes a viable alternative to fiat money. But I don't think that it is going to happen since, if we talk about the US only, we are seeing that the regulatory authorities have started to change their stance, and we may see comprehensive regulations for the crypto space. Similarly, we have just seen that the IMF thinks that crypto cannot be banned, so all is good for Bitcoin and other cryptos. And now if we come to the overall crypto market, we are now seeing that most cryptos are now back in the green. And as a result, the total crypto market has surged to $2.27 trillion with the total crypto market volume sitting around $114 billion, which makes a 15% increase over the last 24 hours. And since things are now getting better for the crypto market, we are now seeing that the fear and greed index is also improving. It is currently sitting around 29 points, which means that the fear sentiment in the market is now fading away. Overall, the crypto market has recovered slightly in the last 24 hours. And this is why I think Doge is now back on track. All in all, Doge is going to show some momentum from here. And as I stated before, it will gain massively in early 2022.